In the idyllic and densely populated island of Barbados, a conservation project is working to restore local sea turtle populations. Check it out. The island of Barbados boasts more than 80 picture-perfect white sand beaches, making it a top Caribbean vacation destination. But this stunning coastline is also home to some of the oldest animals on Earth, sea turtles. Barbados is unique in the Caribbean. Whereas many of the other islands have leatherback turtles nesting primarily, we have hawksbill. We actually have the largest nesting population of hawksbill turtles in the insular Caribbean. Local biologist Carla Daniel is the field director for the Barbados Sea Turtle Project, which works tirelessly to save the critically endangered hawksbill species. If I could describe our hawksbill population, I would say precarious. While it is increasing, it is currently quite dependent on human intervention. And if at any point that intervention is not possible, I think there will certainly be a sharp decline in the population quite rapidly. It's coming everywhere but over here. <laughs> Today, Carla is responding to a call about an unexpected overnight guest in someone's pool. One, two, three, up, up, let's grab it. Quick, quick, quick. Almost there, just off the step here. And gently down. Good, all in all, a good morning. Simple rescue. She's safely back into the water and she will live to nest again. The Barbados Sea Turtle Project formed in 1987, a time when harvesting sea turtles and their eggs was legal on the island. It would take more than a decade for that legislation to change. Everybody sees the turtles as being kind of critical to our island, an important aspect of our biodiversity, and they want to ensure they survive as much as we do. While the turtle population has been recovering, these ancient sea creatures are facing a new series of threats. Habitat loss because of climate change and coastal development is a major problem. But Carla says light pollution is the primary issue impacting hatchling survival. When hatchlings emerge from the sand, they look around and they orient themselves in the direction that is brightest. On an undeveloped island that is dark, the water will always be brighter than the land and that instinct drives them straight to the sea. On a heavily developed island like ours, with lots of lights on the coastline, they put all of that same drive but instead they're going inland. In Barbados, nesting season for hawksbills is generally from May to October, a busy time for Carla and her team. So first thing I did was to check to see what stage of nesting she was at to determine whether I could approach or not. And she's already commenced laying, which is good. This time of year also attracts a lot of tourists to the island. People ask to see turtles almost on a daily basis. It is that popular. We would not be able to represent our park, our niche in tourism if it wasn't for the turtles. That's how vital it has become. They also play a vital role in the overall marine ecosystem. Hawksbills in particular are among a few animals that feed on sea sponges, which in excess are detrimental to coral health. Sea turtles are definitely our guardians when it comes to these vulnerable small islands. They are kind of a linchpin in the entire thing and they're helping to keep it together. 